you hear many claims that the richest 1% control American politics through their massive checkbooks. Political figures have campaigned on the promise of removing power from the rich and giving it to the masses. One problem. Those politicians and the influential activist groups tied to them get their funding from the exact shadowy cabal of elites they claim to oppose. Founded by Democratic strategist Rob Stein, the Democracy Alliance is a group of left-wing millionaires and billionaires, each committed to providing at least $200,000 per year to left-of-center groups, though many provide millions more, to build the left's permanent infrastructure. Their approximately 110 members include financier George Soros, hedge fund manager and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Tom Steyer, and filmmakers Rob Reiner and Norman Lear, though most members have remained secret. Together they make decisions about which left-wing activist groups to fund to accomplish their mutual aims, collectively spending more than $600 million since the group's formation in 2004. Those groups include America Votes, an organization designed to get left-wing voters to the polls, and Media Matters for America, which targets conservative figures to cut off their financial support and hound them out of politics. Both those groups regularly attack conservative and libertarian donors, while not clearly disclosing their own donors and Democracy Alliance connection on their website or in federal election filings. The Democracy Alliance also funnels members' money into special funds created by the half-billion-dollar Dark Money Network run by Arabella Advisors. These funds pool millions of dollars of so-called dark money from multiple donors and send the cash to left-wing advocacy groups active in elections in battleground states. Showing just how far they'll go to achieve power, another of their top-funded groups is Organizing for Action, which they funded long after an investigative report from Project Veritas revealed Organizing for Action employees encouraged vote fraud through the scam of casting multiple absentee ballots in multiple states. One Organizing for Action worker even appeared to brag that she herself had committed vote fraud to help elect President Obama. If wealthy leftists want to use their money to support their favorite causes, that's their right. But if in doing so they secretly coordinate the creation and operations of a movement that claims to be by the people and for the people, they need to be called out as the hypocrites they are. I'm Scott Walter. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel. And to learn more, read our profile of the Democracy Alliance on InfluenceWatch.org. Thanks for watching.